The town of Seabrook Island is looking to cap the number of short-term rentals to 645, which makes up about 25% of the island. But this proposed cap could look different depending on where on the island you live. Live Five's Anna Harris is on Seabrook Island tonight and joins us. So Anna, you were at a public hearing about this proposal. Any updates? Well, Roth and Ann has definitely been a debate years in the making, and today's hearing revealed a pretty split room. All owners, renters, and short-term rental committee members all made up the room, with some saying that they hope this cap would protect their quality of life. And others against the cap say that they think this is the worst idea they have ever heard. Right now, there is currently no cap on short-term rentals on Seabrook, but if approved by town council in the coming weeks, this ordinance would create two separate caps in the proposed overlay district, which includes condos, single-family homes closest to the beach, and more. The cap would be set at 540 STRs. In all other residential areas, which are exclusively single-family homes, the cap would be 105. Overall, this would make up about 25% of the island. To get to this point, a first-ever STR committee has listened to over 600 people share their thoughts since around February. Some islanders said today they're ready for a decision to be made. It will facilitate unlimited growth of commercial rental activity on the island. That of course will lead to a further deterioration of the quality of life on Seabrook and exacerbate problems with overcrowding, competition for facilities and amenities, and environmental de deterioration. Cap will increase the demand for services, it'll cause more crowding and reduce the quality of life on Seabrook. The exact opposite is intent. The whole idea should just be dropped. The first reading on these proposed ordinances will be on October 28th, with the final reading expected to be in November. Reporting live on Seabrook Island, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.